President-elect Joe Biden said he has no issue with President Donald Trump not attending his inauguration as the 46th U.S. President on January 20th. Trump had earlier said he would skip Biden's inauguration refusing to fulfill the outgoing president's traditional role in the peaceful transition of power and undercutting his own message just one day earlier on the need for national healing and unity. Traditionally, the incoming and outgoing presidents ride to the U.S. Capitol together on Inauguration Day for the ceremony, a visible manifestation of the smooth change of leadership. U.S. employers shed jobs last month for the first time since April, cutting 140,000 positions, clear evidence that the economy is faltering as the viral pandemic tightened its grip on consumers and businesses. At the same time, the unemployment rate stayed at 6.7 percent, the first time it hasn't fallen since April. Friday's figures from the Labor Department suggest that employers have rehired roughly all the workers they can afford to after having laid off more than 22 million in the spring, there was such loss on record. Middle Eastern Airlines reported a 2.2% year-on-year decline in international cargo volumes in November, according to the latest data from the International Air Transport Association, IATA, as the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic continues to have an impact on the aviation sector. The IATA said in relation to Middle Eastern carriers, the lack of international connectivity is hampering air cargo recovery in the region. However, seasonally adjusted demand remains on an upward trend. The drop in regional volumes was not as bad as the global average the association found.